I'm Terry Ryber. I'm from a member from PAC TV, and I'm here with Adam Chaprales, and he's running for United States Congress. And you're from? I'm right here from Marston's Mills on the Cape, which is a village in Barnstable, originally from Sandwich. My wife and I relocated to Marston's Mills about a couple of years ago. Born and raised in Sandwich, that's where I went to school. Is this the first uh, position you run for? Or office run no, for? I, uh, I ran for the Office of Sandwich Selectman back in 2005. I was 20 years old when I ran, 21 when I got elected. Okay. And um, I served on the board with Tom Keyes and Frank Panorfi, and I was vice chairman on the board up until 2008. And why did you decide to run for Congress? Um, just my distaste for what's going on. I feel there's a lack of support, um, lack of community outreach, and we don't get the proper representation. We need a representative that knows what it's like to live here in the district, to work in the district, and to raise a family in the district, not to find a place to live just so they can run in the district. And what do you think are the particular challenges of Congress in the next term? Well, obviously we have the health care right now that um, you know I have my eye on, and one of the things that I would do um, you know, when elected is, you know, repeal the health care law that, you know, recently got passed. And, and that's that's a big deal. It's going to affect a lot of people. And we, quite frankly, don't have the money to, to be supporting something like that. Are you concerned about the, the deficit at this point? Absolutely. I mean, the deficit's a huge deal. I mean, just pure economics, we have our GDP, which is less than what our deficit is. I mean, that's just a disaster. I mean, you take a look at what's going on over in Greece. And if we keep going in the direction that we're going right now without doing anything about it, we're not going to be too far behind Greece in a couple of years. And that would not be a pretty sight for sure. I don't think it would be a pretty sight for anybody, but most importantly, um, my wife and I are expecting our first baby. So this run isn't just about what's important to us. This, this run is important about what's going to happen to our future generation. Most importantly, what my child is going to have to go through. I mean, do I want my child to have or not have the same luxuries that we had growing up? And quite frankly, the answer is yes. We want them to have the same opportunities that we had growing up. Okay, thanks, Adam. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.